Welcome to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. Get ready to be inspired, uplifted, and connected to the miraculous energy of unconditional love that I call Mother Mary. If you're a highly sensitive, highly creative entrepreneur or light worker, and you want to magnify your impact and your intuition, you are in the right place. I'm your host, Reverend Francis Faden, interfaith minister, intuitive coach, and author of Meditation is Friendship with God. I can't wait to share miraculous stories, books, meditations, messages, and interviews with other miraculous light workers just like you. Are you ready to magnify your miracles? What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hello, my miraculous friend, and welcome to another episode of the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. This is Reverend Francis Faden, and I am so grateful that we get to spend this time together helping you magnify your miracles. You know, I love sharing resources with you that help you magnify your miracles, that help you with your manifestation, that help you to move forward in your life in a powerful way. And whenever I come across a book or an author or a practitioner or anything that I think is going to help you, I can't wait to share it with you. And that's what I'm doing today is I'm sharing a book that I thought was really helpful. I read it a couple months ago and I said, oh, this is it. This book, if you read no other book on manifestation and law of attraction, this is it. I think it should be called Law of Attraction in a Nutshell because it just boils it down to the most essential thing that will be so helpful for you. This book is called Just Feel Good and the author is Andrew Kapp. So we're going to be diving into this book today, but before we do that, you know, I always love to take a deep breath together. This helps both of us to let ourselves be open and receptive so that we can get everything that we want to get from the inspiration that you're going to be receiving today. So take a breath with me. And just breathe in that energy of expansion, breathing out anything you no longer need. And knowing that whatever you need to hear to move you forward is exactly what you're going to be hearing. Let's take one more deep breath together in gratitude. And we can begin. All right, my friend. Well, thank you once again for being here. And I'm so excited to to dive into this book. This book, again, it's called Just Feel Good, The Secret to the Life You've Always Wanted by this really great author named Andrew Kapp. And as I said, I'm always looking for resources for you. I'm always looking for things to keep me continually inspired. And sometimes, you know, reading something on a topic from a different perspective or from a different author helps you to see things that you might not have seen before. So that's why I love sharing these things with you. Because in addition to listening to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast, I'm hoping that you're also in the practice of reading something uplifting every day, in addition to doing your prayers, your meditations, all of that, we want to feed the mind with the truth. And we want to feed it with things that are going to help us really bring that miraculous energy, that manifestation into our lives in whatever way has meaning for you. So this book, in my opinion, I mean, there's all kinds of books out there about all kinds of techniques, and I love all of them. But when I read this book, I was like, oh, this is it. And I'm going to be sharing some of it with you today. And I honestly, honestly think that if you read nothing else on manifestation or nothing else on law of attraction, you would basically get whatever you needed to really get yourself in that zone of manifestation and miracles from this book. This is my opinion. have read lots of books, but I really think that this one hits the nail on the head. So I'm going to be reading a little bit from the beginning of the book, but just to give you an idea, here's some of the the chapters in this book. Here's in the um, table of contents, chapter one, how your life will change when you do this one thing. Chapter two, guaranteeing this will work. Chapter three, what actually happens when you just feel good and how it gets you what you want. Chapter four, which is really great, the final road back roadblock to just feeling good and how to easily get past it and so on. And it's just really good. And what I love about this is it's based on the author's actual real life experience 
of what he went through when he was going through a hard time and how he turned things around. So I'm going to read to you from the introduction, the formula for getting everything you want. If you were handed a magic wand and all you had to do was wave it and ask for anything you wanted in life, what would you wish for? Would it be a million dollars in the bank or finding the love of your life or better health? Would it be something really personal that you've never admitted to anyone before? Whatever it is that you'd wish for, my question to you is, why do you really want it? You don't actually have to tell me because while what I'm about to say might be hard to believe, I actually already know the answer. You want whatever you want so that you can just feel good. That really fancy car you've been waiting for, flooring at full speed on the open road with the top down, will just feel good. Flaunting it in front of your jealous friends will just feel good. The convenience it offers you for easily getting wherever you need to go will just feel good. Now, obviously, this goes a little deeper than that. After all, that car is actually also useful for your survival. You need your car to get to your job or the supermarket or the bank or wherever. But let's be honest here. You could have any car for that. The car you want is because it will feel really good to have it. Same goes for meeting the love of your life or the million dollars in the bank, because we both know that you can survive on much less, or anything else. And once you realize this and you embrace this reality, once you accept that this really is all about just feeling good, everything changes and everything starts getting easier. Because when you truly understand why you want the things you want, you're automatically in a much better position to get more of it and get more easily as well. That's just how it works. But here's the real kicker. The thing that they never tell you, the secret that could save you so much time and spare you so much pain, frustration, fear, and doubt. The one truth that changes everything. The magic wand for getting what you want actually exists. And that magic wand is just feeling good. I know that sounds a bit too simple and crazy to actually be true, but stick with me here. This will make all the sense by the time you're finished with the book. Not only am I going to explain with crystal clarity how this specific type of magic wand actually works, but more importantly, I'm going to show you how to use this magic wand for your own personal benefit. And because while it's true that you can get what you want by using this wand, this obviously isn't the kind of wand that you can simply just wave. It will work, however. It always works. And it's almost as simple and easy as the physical one you would have waved if you actually held one in your hand. But let's not mince words here. If you're reading this right now, it's a pretty safe bet that you're not nearly as happy as you want to be. You might not even be happy at all. Maybe you're going through a rough patch in your life, and all you want for now is just a little relief. And we can get you that relief, but let's not stop there. The secret you're about to learn can take you so much further than that. It can take you literally to everything you've ever truly wanted most of your life. The answer really is there waiting for you. And all you really need to worry about right now is reading this book and giving yourself the opportunity to try the very simple and easy steps I'm about to share with you. The most precious gift that this book can give you is the ease and simplicity with which you'll be able to use what it teaches, all so that you can finally invite what you really want in your life once and for all. It just might not be in the way you've always been expecting. For now, though, the only thing you need to understand before moving on to the next chapter is that the equation that you've been taught your entire life is actually backwards. You don't get what you want in order to feel good. You feel good in order to get what you want. Now I'm going I'm going to stop and repeat that. You don't get what you want in order to feel good. You feel good in order to get what you want. That's the formula for your happiness and success and you'll understand what I mean by that very soon. And let's begin. So 
you can see already that he's telling you, here's what you do, you know? And we all think we need our circumstances to change to feel good, to feel better, to feel happy. And what he's saying is a, a spiritual truth is that we need to feel it and then we get to experience it. And it seems it's the total opposite of everything you've been taught, but it really, really is true. So he goes in to this process and breaks it down for you, which is why I'm really recommending this. Because if you just do the simple things that he recommends that you do, and here's one thing that he says here. Now I'm reading on my Kindle, so I can't give you the page number. For me, this is page 10. By intentionally feeling positive emotions, even for only in a few minutes a day, you end up setting into motion energies and events that somehow find a way to create amazing results in your life. Now, if you were here and you listened to last week's episode, I talked about the miraculous way that I manifested a new television. And so much of it was based on this, of getting myself into a place where I was just having fun and I was in that energy of fun. And then miraculously, there this TV manifested for me in a way that I never would have expected. But you don't have to, a lot of times people get caught up because they think, oh, I have to stay in this super happy place all day, every day. And that's just not doable. It's not sustainable for me. And I would concur that that's not sustainable for most people. But what he's saying here is if you can do just a few minutes every day, just a few minutes sets into motion energies and amazing results. I promise you. And it's really not, not complicated. You know, now if you have a, a challenge with feeling good, which most of us do have a challenge, at least staying in that place of feeling good, um, he gives you some things that you can do. He calls it his five minute, his daily five minute feel good ritual that you can do. And by generating positive feelings, you're going to be having more positive feelings. So here's the thing. The positive energy is so much stronger than the negative energy. So in a short amount of time, you can actually shift the energy from the negative to the positive and have more long lasting results than if you're you know, thinking that you have to stay in there the whole time, you don't. You can, you can actually mitigate those negative energies by purposely being in that energy. Now, you can focus on gratitude. That's a powerful way. And he's going to talk to you about that. Simply just being grateful for everything that's currently in your life. You can absolutely do that. You can do, do like I did. I went out for a bike ride and I got my, did something fun to get myself into that vibration. You can talk to a good friend. If you have an animal in your life, a pet of some kind, you can spend time with that. Like there's no wrong way to make yourself feel good as long as it's actual feeling good and not just numbing out. I think what a lot of us do is we numb out with food or with TV or distractions or whatever it might be. And that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about actually feeling good. Sometimes you can reflect on things that have happened before or how much, you know, how much love you have in your life. Sometimes I just focus on the energy of breathing and I let my, I just bring my awareness to breathing and I let myself witness myself breathing. And when you put so much focus on something, oh my God, it's like I never took a breath in my life. And you feel all this joy just from the fact that your lungs are filling up with air and letting go of what they no longer need and then filling up with air and letting go of what they no longer need. And it's this beautiful thing that happens when you bring your attention to it. So a few minutes a day is what I recommend. And at the end of the book, he actually has some really great bonuses of things that you can also do as well. And the only thing that he says in this book over and over and over again, he says, this will work. You just have to be willing to try. Are you willing to take care of yourself? Are you willing to you know, do something different. And that's the only thing that really is. It's like, are you willing to do it? You have to be willing to do it. And if you are, um, things will really shift for you. 
All right. So that's what I wanted to share with you. If you want to get the audio version of this book, I have a gift for you. You can go to francisfaden.com forward slash audible, and you can get a 30 day free trial of audible. That is a gift that I love sharing. If you're somebody that prefers to listen to your books, as opposed to reading your books, check it out on audible. I also have a link in the show notes where you can find the book and you can go and check it out. He's got both a Kindle version and a paperback version. So whichever one works for you, definitely check it out. I think I think it's going to be so helpful for you. It just boils it down to the most important thing. So I'd love to know your thoughts about it. And if this really resonated with you, you can leave me a comment. And you know what? If you know somebody that could use this kind of help and this inspiration, please share it with them and let them know about it. It's one of the ways that we can feel good is helping other people feel good. It's always a beautiful thing to do. Thank you so much, my friend. God bless each and every one of you, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. I'm so grateful to be able to spend this time with you. If you want even more inspiration, feel free to visit my website, francisfaden.com or magnifyyourmiracles.com. And if you did enjoy this episode, I would really appreciate it if you left a review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever it is that you connect with awesome podcasts. Remember, the key to magnifying your miracles is remembering that your miracle is already here.